Early pregnancy loss or miscarriage is unfortunately very common. They occur in one in six to one in five cases of recognized pregnancies. Unfortunately, they're emotionally trying at times. It's often the couples are left with questions wondering, what have I done to cause this? What is my risk of recurrence in the future? And often in the cases, there is nothing that the couples actually have done to actually cause these miscarriages. We know from studies that the majority of miscarriages occur as a result of a genetically abnormal embryo. When a couple meets and the sperm and egg meet together, we each carrying half the genetic material from each parent, sometimes the message can be altered and a genetically abnormal embryo can be formed and this results in a miscarriage. The patient may not have any symptoms sometimes. They may just pick it up on a routine ultrasound. They may sometimes have some crampy pains. They may have some bleeding at times also. Recurrent miscarriages is basically when there are three or more consecutive miscarriages occurring in a row. This occurs in one to three percent of the population and is obviously very distressing. It's important to investigate further in these patients because in some cases, a cause can be found. One of the risk factors for miscarriage includes advancing maternal age. We know as a woman, as she ages past the age of 35, there's a significant increased risk of having a miscarriage. And this is partly due to a deterioration in her egg quality. Women are born with a finite amount of eggs from birth. As she grows older, the eggs also grow older. And as a result, the quality of the egg can deteriorate. If you have an abnormal egg which gets fertilized in these people, there can be an increased risk of aneuploidy or what we call a chromosome abnormality forming within this embryo and this may result in a miscarriage for the person. For some people also, we do know that abnormal sperm can also result in miscarriages. Hence, as a result, it's important not only to check the female but also to check the male partner as abnormal sperm can result in this and a semen analysis can pick this up quite easily. Other causes for miscarriage includes having an anatomical abnormality within the womb. A woman may have what we call submucosal fibroids or little growths within the womb. She may have large polyps or she may have scar tissue within the cavity of the womb also. She may be worn with a septum, what is basically a scar tissue wall within the womb which can all of which impact on implantation of an embryo and cause recurrent miscarriages. These can be easily investigated with doing a simple ultrasound or doing a simple diagnostic procedure to work it out further. And often with treatment of these conditions, we can actually improve the chances of conceiving as well as maintaining a pregnancy for the couple. Other causes of miscarriages also include endocrine disorders such as poorly controlled diabetes as well as thyroid issues. Some people have family um, histories of recurrent miscarriages. They may have clotting disorders in their family, such as thrombophilias or antiphosphate syndromes, which can increase their risk of having miscarriages. Putting them on aspirin and low-dose blood thinners can actually help improve the chances in these people also of falling pregnant and maintaining a pregnancy. In a small group of people which are physically normal, they may carry a a genetic abnormality within themselves, which doesn't cause them any problems. But these can be passed down in their sperm or egg when they're creating them. And this is what we call balanced translocations. In these couples, it's important to test their genes to see whether they have this abnormality. And we do know that with IVF treatment and pre-implantation genetic testing or PGD, we can actually help these couples to improve their chances of having a healthy baby at the end. If you're having issues with recurrent miscarriages, it's important to see your local doctor as they can do some preliminary investigations or refer you to a fertility specialist if need be. It's important to remember, despite the heartache and what's happening, that you do have a good chance of falling pregnant and actually having a baby at the end of the day.